I gotta tell you, chat. I didn't think I'd be saying this in 2024, but we're playing PUBG today. I didn't think I'd be saying that anytime soon, if I'm being perfectly frank. But here we are. Hope you're doing well. Apparently, I've got a fr <laughs> A lot's changed in this game since I've last played it. Um, but I wanted to give it a go on console because PUBG has a surprisingly large uh, console community, which makes sense. I mean, you know, in terms of the game, it's, it's probably the only way you can play it without necessarily being bombarded with Giga Sweats and Cheaters. So I can see why why people are uh, giving it a go. Again, PUBG's received its highest concurrent player count so far in 2024, which is crazy. Um, and as a weird fun fact of my historical past, um, there was a period of time when this released on PlayStation 4 where I was ranked in the top five globally. So it's something I'm definitely not alien to. Um, good to see all of you. Hope you're doing well. Now, we're going to give this a go today just because the Renetti is basically making Warzone living hell, as I'm sure many of you can agree. Um, and as the Renetti is giving people hell, it just seemed right to do something a little bit different. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to do something a little bit different. Um, also, I absolutely... When I used to play this game, the only place I landed was Picado. The only place I ever landed on this map was Picado. Literally nowhere else. But that's exactly where we're going. I'm going to be so washed at this, by the way, for my first few games. I've tried adjusting my controller settings to get them about where I want them to be, but it's still probably going to take a little bit of tweaking. I also am completely unfamiliar with the amount of parachute distance I have. There's a lot of variables that I've just forgotten, all right? Oh, we got company, though. We've got a handful of men in this local area, folks. But this is, this is Battle Royale at its purest form, folks. This is, this is my OG drop spot for this, by the way. Oh, should I? Would it be naughty of me to take a car 98 off rip? I feel like it would be. With an optic? Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Okay. Game one. First mistake. Let's go, baby. Uh, what we got here? Ace 23. I don't remember being that good. Mortar shells. Definitely going to need the med kit now. Uh, oh. What do we got? Police vest. Energy drink. Sweet. Uh, quick draw mag. That'd be useful. So I'm going to take the Ace 23 for now until we find something marginally better just because for the time being we don't have we don't have anything else um we've got the scar l there i've got a level two vest i've now got a level two backpack folded shield that's pretty handy uh it's a gander oh there's someone nearby just gonna go up this length of stairs Use the old first pay first aid kit. How's thank you very much. Appreciate you for the two months. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Another first aid kit, a couple of shotgun shells. Shotguns are really OP from what I remember. Cool. There'd be people close, folks. Yeah, this is full crossplay with other consoles. Um, only console though, it's not PC crossplay. For obvious reasons. I'm 
hearing people beefing. I'm, I'm not seeing the shots, though. I know there's someone close. There's some people finding a casino there. I can't shoot that geezer, not from this angle. Until I'm in rank, there's also a very good chance that's not even a real player. It could just be a bot. Ah, Sandstorm. Forgot about this. Entirely forgot about this. Forgot these were even a thing. I go to the next one back. It is definitely a bot. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about that one too much. Basically, until I can play ranked, which is like once I've leveled this up ever so slightly, you will get the odd one of those. Oh, is that an SKS? I'm definitely switching to an SKS. Don't remember a huge amount about PUBG, but I know the SKS was still king. The SKS has always been king. Of course you decide to move at that exact moment. You bastard. That is pure Darude Sandstorm. You are correct. I need to adjust my sense for... I need to adjust my sense for my controller doing sprinting. Because... Bro does not want to sprint. Uh, forward running sensitivity. Low. Let's get that nice and low. Pure Darude Sandstorm, yeah. Quick draw mag, canted optic. Don't need a canted optic. Tagged him. I mean, that's something. Pretty sure there's more than one in there. I haven't even had a look at the map, you know. Holy shit, okay. We need to move soonish. Someone over there. There's someone really far. Can I hit the shot? That's a good... This is a good time for me to practice. Seeing as I'm basically a Babby account, this is a really good time for me to not be R. Okay. FYI, there is zero aim assist in PUBG, for those of you who are aware. I have no idea what the velocity is on this. I have no idea what the lead time is on this. Good God, I'm going to be so arse at this game for the first few matches. Oh well, that's fine. Why on console and not on PC? Oh, well, it's just PUBG on PC. has got the same old problems as, as all of them, though, you know? Um... The reality is, is that if you play PUBG on PC, uh, it's gonna be, how do I say, chat. And other chats facing each It's basically just a hack off. I'm sure it's probably improved since I last played it, but the la I remember the last time I played PUBG, I encountered literally five cheaters in five matches, which I thought was insane.
I've yet to really leave this building, and that's fine. I could do with an extended mag for this. I'm just going to start moving. I need to get towards a vehicle anyway. There, there seems to be a lot going on with COD right now. The, the game, the update seems to have scuffed the game a fair bit. The Renetti isn't patched. Um, yeah, I'm just not really looking to really touch COD at the minute, given the current update circumstance. Yeah, PUBG's free on PlayStation and on Xbox. Man, having a free cam is a beautiful thing. Okay, we're a fair bit away now, so I'm just gonna... We're gonna go central zone. The COD update just seemed to break a lot of things last night, John. Um, just a lot seemed to go wrong. We'll absolutely be running people over in this, by the way. Plug holes in a sinking ship? Uh, less so. I think they're just trying to keep COD afloat until the next major update, if I'm being honest. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. I forgot that this game has actual physics and that vehicles can get you killed. Probably should have thought about that a little bit. I'm really confident that was a bot, but that's fine. I'll probably never use an Xbox controller, if I'm being honest. Um, even if they are ergonomically better for my hands, I just I can't deal with their thumbsticks. The reality is, is Xbox controllers are just dead inaccurate. Like, it's, it's just a, a huge issue that's plagued the console for so long now. Uh, right, let's see what this geezer's got. I'll be taking those. I'll be taking those. I'll be taking those. I'll be taking those. I'll be taking that. Oh, he's got an orc. Probably best to switch to things manually like that, but I'll figure that out soon. Uh, what do I not need in this equation at the minute? I don't necessarily... I better swear I just heard someone. I don't know the button. There we go. See, this is what's going to get me killed in this game, is I have no idea how to loot. Um, you know what I mean? If there are going to be things that will get me murdered, it's stuff like not knowing how to loot quickly. Just gonna get in this building quickly and have a look around. Uh, these are still my Via Dynamics. Uh, I've wired my PlayStation audio into uh, my PC so that I can still use the same audio that I was using from before. There's a fair bit of fine behind, but I'm also out of circle and I've only got a minute 24. So I need to be aware of that. But I'm gonna try and get some of these, some of these little picks on the edge here. Must be down in the town.
normally happens when you reload. I think it's safe to say that's a player I'm not going to have to worry about. Or should I say, not a player. The second I can get into ranked, I will be playing ranked. Even if I'm terrible. It's crazy how, like, as somebody who regularly complains about um, SBMM, it's crazy how I'm now the bab. You know what I mean? I'm officially the bab in this scenario. Oh god, not lost Leonis. I, I don't remember a lot about PUBG, but I do remember the fact that this place absolutely sucked because there's like 700 angles that you have to be aware of at any given moment. Can you zero the 4x scope? I think you can zero the... I think it's the 6x and above you can zero. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to zero. Um, I'm pretty sure you can, though. I mean, you can just also aim up. The definition of a bab is someone who's, who's simply fresh, you know? Fresh to the game, fresh to the space. I really need extended magazines on all of my guns here. hear you. Oh, shit. No zeroing, just gravity. Gets like that sometimes, the left up. Just gets like that. I mean, Warzone's definitely the more fast-paced BR. Everybody knows that. I don't think that's... I don't think that's a secret to anyone. Um, but the reality is, is that Warzone just still fundamentally has a lot wrong with it. I mean, PUBG has higher refresh rate servers than Warzone. And PUBG is donkey's years old. Do you know what I mean? Like... PUBG has been around for ages and it has higher tick rate servers than Warzone. I mean, that kind of tells you everything you need to know on that front. You know what I mean? Well, I need to pop an energy drink. And if I can see a car, I'm taking a car because I need to get moving. I don't even know if I'll make this circle. Even at my current speed, I don't think I make this circle. Is that minibus drivable, or is this just a piece of cover? Oh my god, it's drivable. Which would be great if I knew how to get in properly. Yeah, I'm curious at checking out PUBG because it's going to UE5. It's going to UE5, and it's receiving destruction and ground defamation which i think is mad like the ability to basically make space on the floor is going to be really huge for how this game plays i'm a strategy man and strategy is telling me to lock up this building to win this game
Oh god, I'm still out of circle. This is nuts. Thought I was in. Man, I would kill for an extended magazine right now. Maybe I'll just run for this. Thoughts on Apex Legends? Meh. Apex Legends is like... I don't know. I just, I've never had any strong feelings towards it. Right, this zone's going to start collapsing soon. It's going to get messy. Yeah, when this comes out to UE5, it's going to be mad. Like, I, I want to... Like, I definitely will be giving it more of an exploration. Like, the fact that it has ground defamation. That man is very lucky to be alive. Problem I've got. So I'm fairly confident something's about to come over that hill. I'm fairly confident somebody was still in that building, and if they were... I think he like that. One of the dudes is just roaming in a car. Yeah, the bat. I'm out of throwables. I'm hoping that car just pulls up on him and makes this a lot easier for me. Did he just drive by that man?
I mean, it was a somewhat bot fight, but I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> the quality of this lobby is not going to be particularly great. That being said, he had a melee vest. Wowzers. We'll take those. <laughs> I'm officially one of the babs, I'm afraid, guys. I'm officially a bab in PUBG. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I am. This game's brutal on PC now. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I think the biggest problem with PC is that, like, they are bringing out machine learning anti-cheat, which is nice, and it probably will combat the problem, but a lot of people do get hacked on in that game. It's it's pretty nutty. Um, gosh, my character profile has been around for some time in this game. The one thing I really like about PUBG... And, and this is just something that I think a lot of people don't... Um, I think this is something a lot of people don't realize. Is that PUBG actually has, like, a rank system and also a stat tracking system. Um, so, obviously, you have your in-game stats. That's to be expected. Um, but it also has... Um, what you call it? Um, let me find it. Uh, if you go to your weapon stats, each weapon has its own stats. You have a headshot percentile. Some of your guns with certain skins have stat tracking on them. Been a while. Sad thing is, Cock can do all this. Yeah, it does a lot of it uh, correct. I mean, it just, you know, it's it just does all of it right. You know, it's not... It sounds stupid, but sometimes that's all it is for me. Uh, I haven't had that issue personally in Scorpio Rise, or at least I haven't seen that issue yet. But if you do run into that problem, do contact support. Um shouldn't be a problem you should run into to the best of my knowledge you ever just lob some cupcakes at a, a gift box right now that i've actually like won a game i probably should get a lobby with substantially more actual players in it damage from jumping out of cars kind of killed it for me and killed myself too many times yeah i remember the days of h1z1 before PUBG was kind of taken off just driving up on somebody, jumping out of the car, and just absolutely riddling them. That was the play. I wonder how many people in this game even have the customization thing I have, which is like, I think this was one of the original player unknown sets. Do you know how refreshing it is to load into a game where the maps are different? Very refreshing. How refreshing it is to play a big map and then a different big map. Oh, do you guys want to know my drop for this? My drop was next to school. I used to be such a little sweat. I used to land here religiously. I think it's where I'm going to land. For the purposes of bringing it back. El Clasico. I forget that you can dive straight down now. You mean to tell me that I don't have to hear hit shit gain a green light at the start of every round? God damn. Might have to become a PUBG main just for that. <laughs> I'll be astonished if I don't have company here, by the way. This was an OG bad boy drop in PUBG. Uh-oh. Rut row. Scooby. Scoob. Uh-oh.
just gonna get up the stairs so I can actually loot. Them. Confident somebody's about to come into my building. We can make this a very long day for whoever comes in here. Get some attachments on these bad boys, eh? Yeah, I think we somewhat want that to be the other way around, lads. I'm going to be honest. He's going to want to loot those corpses. There we go. Thanks for the 12 months. Appreciate you, Oliver. Five gifted if I get a 20 bomb, yeah? Listen, mate, I'm, I'm, I'm just learning the ropes again. Give me, cut me some slack, like... Pick up some painkillers. I'll actually keep the shotty, I'll be honest, like... Uh, let's have a look at my old inventory. I've got... I need to get a level 2 vest, uh, level 2 helmet. Uh, I will replace... Uh, drop you, drop you, drop you, drop you. There's something nice about the simplicity of it all, you know? Smoke grenade. Uh, first aid kit. Energy drink. I don't. Rem I remember the mini twelve being decent, but I'm picking up a lot of stuff here. I'm probably going to end up dropping, but that's fine. Definitely want to compensate. Bambi, thank you very much. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, I'm I'm doing my best Gargard impression. Sorry, you'll have to bear with me. We definitely want an extended mag too. I do need to find a level two helmet, but other than that, I'd say I'm fairly geared at the minute. Um, I also haven't audibly heard anything. Uh, that being said, yeah, it's time for me to move. I haven't even thought about that. I'm going to quickly go check those bodies outside and see if any of them have a level 2 helmet. And then I'm just going to go. Because wow, this is that zone coming in close. Uh, what have you got? Yep, I'll take that. That's literally all I needed. I'm sure the org is probably better than the 762 AK from what I remember, but that's fine. Uh, 
Yeah, it seems the anti-cheats picked up a fair bit at the minute campsite. Unfortunately, it's just the Renee makes the game. That guy was on the wall there. Certainly one of the decisions of all time. How do I stow both my weapons and sprint on console? Does anybody know? It was at that moment he realized he... F well, this is the thing. This has no aim assist. Just, just as a general FYI, for everybody watching at home, PUBG has zero aim assist. Hold Y. Oh, triangle. Thank you very much. Am I running into a red zone here? I am. Sweet. I should really increase this. Is there a separate option for third person field of view or is it just set? I'm gonna have to go around this red zone. I don't really have much of a choice. There's a pretty interesting gunfire happening in that little town ahead. Man, this is really awkward because I think I have to... I think I'm just going to have to burn the red zone here because I can't go straight into the town, but I also don't want to get blue zoned. That guy's going to be livid, by the way, because I actually just tagged him in the head. I was on my ass. Sorry, a helicopter? Am I hearing a helicopter? I didn't know there were helicopters in this. I don't know what it's for, but that's certainly new. That wasn't there the last time I played PUBG. Oh, is that one of those new, like, supply drop things? Don't they drop, like, um, armored vehicles or something like that? Try flying the glider? Yeah, I don't think I will, mate. Um, for being honest, uh, there are certain incentives for me to not do that. Sheds. These sheds used to be 
outrageously OP. You can also auto sprint by double clicking the right, double clicking right analog. You mean left analog? Hey, look, we're living. That's the important thing. Step one, we're alive. Step two, this guy's about to get wigged. I don't think he would have enjoyed that. I'm pretty sure he had a three play vest. I'm pretty sure I damaged it. Nope. Okay, he didn't. Thank God. There was someone further down here. Just going to keep it moving. Especially now that the circle has also decided to keep it moving. I think that guy's pan nearly saved his life. <laughs> oh, I got M14, M16A Ford. So that's the PUBG experience for you. I think I'm going to drop into a squad game now um, just to see how it plays. Um, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm a solo man doing solo things. But I'm curious to see how, how the squad dynamic plays out. Remembers the old strategy of hiding in bushes? Truly a classic. Also, the menu music for this game is mental. Why am I getting pure Hans Zimmer in my ears? They do a very good job with the soundtrack on PUBG. A very good job. Only ever played PUBG Mobile back in 2018 and people used to hide in long grass. Which is, that used to be a thing in uh, regular PUBG Reflex. Back in the day, PUBG had a problem where long grass only rendered in for the first like 100 meters. Um, which meant that if you were hiding in long grass in regular PUBG, um, you effectively um if you were hiding in regular glass grass in pubg you effectively weren't hidden at all 
for people long range. Uh, I'm using a 4K60 Mark II for console, uh, but I don't I don't use a capture card for PC. I use NDI for PC. Personally, think it's better. Oh gosh, I think I played Rondo once when it released, so I'm not going to be very good at this. Uh, if I recall correctly, it has a yeah. There's a city down here which is a bit odd. Um, it's like rocky up here, and then it's like pure pure carnage elsewhere. I think that's the interesting thing, really, is that PUBG's been out for so long now, it's refined so many problems of the BR genre. Like, foliage. Um, your head glitching, stuff like that. Like, all of that's not a thing. You know? Very nice. Okay. Team wants to drop a... Dan Ching, I believe. So I think we're going Dan Ching. I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of next level hot drop, or at least that's how it's coming across. I pulled my shoe a little too early there, but that's fine. Let's me get a nice little overview of the area. Yeah, my character still has feet on. Um, just because... Oh, we've got another team landing with us. My character still has feet because back in the day in PUBG, I don't know if it's still a thing, but back in the day, having shoes on your character meant you made more noise than if you were just having feet. Don't ask me why. It was just a thing for a while. I hope these guys realize we are bad guys here, but we'll soon find out. Never say no to a pump action shotgun. That being said, I'm certain I can find something better. Oh, M14. Let's go. That's bad boy. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get DMR. Love an M14. But who wouldn't love an M14? I mean... Okay, for the purposes of this gunfight, you're going on. You're getting dropped. So are you. Uh, bullet loops. Stun grenade, energy drink. Nice. Still need a helmet. The old elusive helmet at the minute. Yeah, you know, I will take a shotgun secondary for the time being. Still remember taking my shoes off every single match. Yep, that's that's the old PUBG experience. Got up here, we got four X scope. We don't need that. did have another team land here, so we need to be careful. I don't ever remember there being an SVD, so I'm just going to ignore the SVD. Oh, 
I was just about to say, at some point or another, we're going to run into this other team. Don't know about you boys, but I don't have the bloody ammunition to be taking this fight right now. That's one kill confirmed. I am low on HP. probably as well. Man, I don't really have a huge amount of ammo here. So this entire gunfight's gone a little bit sideways. Okay, they're breaking away slightly. So I think I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use this as my opportunity to do the same. I found such a little amount of 556, bro. G overlords. Continue to switch fast. Glad I checked that. Yeah, the 4K60 does 1440, uh, 120 for Warzone. Um... If that was something you wanted to use for it. on the other side of the wall to me.
purposes of this gunfight, I changed my mind. I still haven't found a bloody um, helmet. There we go. Asking you shall receive, some might say. Kicking off a bit. That I won't deny. Oh. Wow, so that mini 14 wrecked me. We're all about to get chalked by the circle, by the way. Very much a case of get out of dodge. Which is somehow what we've managed to achieve. Oh, no, 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 no. So, so. My teammate has a car. That's the best I can do. I've just got to go. I know this first blue zone is pretty weak, but with all the fighting going on, I am going to die. Oh, what do you mean an EMP zone, bro? What are we talking about? Oh, God, it's a different button to get out and in. That's really annoying. Okay, this guy's decided to leave gear here. Okay, somebody's already nicked this. That's fine. Oh, I'm in the EMP zone. Jeez. Uh, cool. My vehicle doesn't work anymore. Why is there an EMP zone? Do you know how mildly inconvenient this is? A 
That's adrenaline syringe it. Oh, what do you mean, bro? I'm about to get double chunked, aren't I, health-wise? I need to try and grab a vehicle. There is zero aim assist in PUBG. For those of you who have asked. Three, two, one. I'm dead, surely. There's no way I make it out of this. Unless this happens to be right here. In which case. Ah, I've lost a tire on this. That would explain the scratching sound. I'm just going to keep going till I'm slightly deeper in the circle. Well, that just seemed rude. Would I ever stream Valorant? Uh, probably. I'm thinking about doing more of a variety day at some point, like a once a week, sort of like a Friday kind of thing. Just stream a variety title. Something that I don't regularly stream, you know? Wowzers, this circle sucks. What I'm hearing right now is hide in a bush. If I'm being real and honest. <clears throat> That's what I'm hearing. Because there's 26 people alive. The circle is, how do you say, tiny. And there is zero cover in the circle beyond a ridge line. is looking activia right now man Renshaw thank you for the 11 months man
Here's the thing. I don't have a huge amount of ammo here. Nice. Good nade. Uh, no, it doesn't have aim assist at all. Zero aim assist in the game. Um, man, that was really unlucky. I was really just trying to get... Um, I was trying to get like a bit of um, ammo off of him because I'd ran out of 5.56, which meant that I was basically just clutching at straws for the rest of it. Like, I had no long range. Zero long range capability. My squad, I think, uh, didn't have a good time, and that's okay. There are certain maps where you can bring, bring back teammates. What's the response curve? Uh, I do not know. I do not know what the default response curve is for this game. I'm going to assume it's something not particularly great. This thing is a crazy soundtrack, by the way. I truly up there in terms of soundtrack. Pure Hans Zimmer in your yard, like. Your quest music, yeah, it does feel that way. Yeah, so the interesting thing is that, um, that most recent map, um, you could, so that map that we just played, Rondo, in the upcoming update, you'll be able to, um, in the upcoming update, you'll be able to use either explosives or a pickaxe to make, like, holes in the floor. So you can basically make your own trenches. Um, which is arguably PUBG's biggest flaw, is that a lot of circles just end in the open without a huge amount of cover. But you'll effectively be able to make your own cover, which is really, really interesting. I think it's probably going to be, like, the biggest shift to how PUBG can play that we've seen in a while. So, ground defamation is becoming a thing. Uh, general destruction is being expanded more, so PUBG is heading in a really interesting direction. I think it's really looking to shake itself up. Obviously, the biggest thing for PUBG will be the lack of redeploys for most people. Um, but I would say, wowzers, that's an interesting sort. Uh, I would say, for the most part, like the formula of the game is going to stay fairly similar. Definitely an interesting time to check it out, that's for sure. Given all the changes it's going through. And obviously, you know, respectfully, I like Warzone as much as the next guy, but if I die to another Renetti, I think I'm going to lose my head. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't know what possessed 
the developers of Call of Duty to go, do you know what seems like a really good idea, lads? Um, right, let's just add this gun to the game that has a time to kill that's 200 milliseconds faster than anything else in the game. Yeah, that seems like a really good idea. A really, really good idea, guys. I think we should thumbs that up. I think that should be put straight in the front desk tomorrow. I think it should be the first thing in the patch notes. Yeah, it is only available on one map, for sure. That is definitely part of the Achilles heel, if you will. I don't think PUBG will ever become a BR where bringing players back into the match is a normal thing. Um, I think it very much enjoys the fact that it's a more traditional D and BR where if you die, you die. Makes me think of the Fennec from Modern Warfare 2. Honestly, you're not wrong, man. Like, it's, it's just not... I don't know what they're... Like... I don't know why, like, I understand changing the meta, and I'm all for shifting metas often. I'm all for shifting them in certain ways. I don't know what COD's obsession with shifting meta means that they have to make something utterly broken. Like, you could have just nerfed the HRM, and maybe slightly buffed the striker, maybe make the new FJX Horus slightly good at close range of similar HRM values. But, like... Making it like bearing in mind, most SMGs float around 600 times to kill, right? The bloody Renetti floats around two, 420, sorry, like about 400 times to kill. So it's a good near 200 milliseconds better than anything else in the game. Do you know what I mean? I can't believe PUBG's had on its seventh anniversary. That's insane. Like, the biggest Achilles heel for Warzone is just, like, they introduce something like the Renetti, and it just changes how the game plays. Like, at the moment, is... At the moment, basically, the second it gets past a, a 600 TTK at close range, the game's basically unplayable. Because there's no reactability, there's no... Like, you can't... It, it, the whole... How the game works just goes out the window. I just don't think the developers really understand that. Like, and if they do, then why do they bother leaving things like the Renetti in? And also, you put an update live yesterday. What good is it telling us that you're going to patch the Renetti in a future update? Why not just patch it today? What's, what, what's stopping you from doing that? You know? Um, why not patch something immediately if it's actively making the Warzone experience worse? Do you know what I mean? Um, there's just a lot of really questionable stuff. Like, I, I don't really understand what Raven does sometimes. Like, their general approach and mantra for certain things just don't make sense to me. Well, I'm glad I managed to get that out of the way. I can't remember if the door on the left has a door or if it's just open. Jesus Christ. Well, 
that nearly went badly. Nice of him to bring me some things. Ever tried armor reforger? It's a, yes. And it has gotten a lot better recently. It has gotten a hell of a lot better recently. It's something that's very much on my radar. Um, let's get you dropped. Definitely got people under our building. I don't know what it's like on console, but on PC at least, it's definitely been getting a lot better, Armor of Forger. Um, One thing I do remember about this building, if I recall correctly, this building has the most height out of all of them. Therefore, you are the most covered. Yeah, that's the only downside with the Mini-14. I don't remember it having the most punch. Are we trying to do Beta or Delta Force? I'm hoping so. I mean, I, I really don't know what to think of that game. Like, it really does just feel like somebody's making a Battlefield clone. I mean, I'm not against it. You know, if, it, if they do a good job, I mean, <laughs> certainly not going to be upset about it. You know what I mean? I feel like the FPS space is really looking for something new at the minute. I think um, Warzone... In particular, um, Warzone in particular is feeling a bit stale. Um, as much as I think Rebirth is definitely going to add to the player count, and it will be fun for some, um, I think if you're a long-term player of Warzone, there really wasn't enough in that update to keep things interesting. One thing I'm really weird about, like, why, why hasn't Warzone produced more limited-time modes? Like, why don't they keep things a bit more fresh, you know? Something I've never really understood with Warzone in terms of how it works. I did not know you could blow up doors. Now I do. I don't think that would have done a huge amount of damage to this guy. I 
I mean, I just want to point out, I am playing without aim assist. You know, that is something that is inherent to PUBG on console. And I just want to say, I'm not completely washed. So that should give you an inkling that I'm not washed on COD either. All right. I can only assume that this player is still just holding or either has opted to drop down the back of the bit or he's ran in. Yeah, he's he's under now. I think as a content creator, you'd almost be crazy not to cover GTA 6, so I'm sure we'll end up playing it. Um, it's going to be the largest game to exist, effectively. Finally. So yeah, it's a very curious time in the FPS space, I mean, that's for sure. I mean, ideally, you know, the thing is, is like when we're playing with Stard Westy and them lot, like when we're playing with all the boys, like, honestly, I think we can just play anything like the ultimately the as long as we're having fun. Um, I think it just translates to good content. Do you know what I mean? Like. I think PUBG on UE5 is definitely something I would like to give a really solid go. Um, I'm really curious to see what's next, honestly, for the BR extraction space. I'm really hoping Grey Zone Warfare makes a splash. Um, there's no reason why that game can't be successful. Now, what did this guy have? Oh, he had an M24. Let's go, baby. Um, this also uses 7.62, so that's huge. Did he have a pan? Oh my god, he had a pan. Okay, um, I need to get moving because I'm going to die if I don't. Um, it's time to go. Yeah, I mean, I, I still like Warzone. I still enjoy fundamentally what Warzone is. I just, I really think they needed to do more with that last update. And I think they really missed the mark with it. Like, I, I honestly think they'll, you know, I'm sure their player count is really high right now, and I'm sure that's probably all that matters to them to some extent. But I think in terms of retention, in terms of keeping people playing, I, I just think they're not doing enough. I'm just going to have to firm the red zone here. Like, I think the fundamental issue with Warzone is just like, if you don't play Resurgence, what was there for you in that update? And what has there been? If you don't play Resurgence, there has been nothing of merit in Warzone since Season 1, which is insane. Like, it's such a big fumble from the developers to not recognize that they're not making progress. There's a very good chance I just die here, by the way, but we'll see how we go. I'm definitely quite keen to try another BR or extraction shooter when it's on the horizon, you know? Yeah, the new multiplayer maps are really, really good. Credit where credit's due. I mean, like, the the six stars map for Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, that's that's insane. Like, that's that's a really fun map.
Did he stop because he died, or did he stop because he wanted to try pull up on me? Well, that is quite unfortunate, my guy. Wow. That's quite unfortunate indeed, my bro. Um, I'll be taking that milli vest of yours too whilst we're here. Wow. <laughs> he didn't like that. He didn't like that goose. Did you see that? My cat just appeared on my desk. It just, just straight up showed up on my desk out of nowhere. I don't think he enjoyed that chat. Um, I think somebody should clip that for me. It was very cinematic of him. I, I appreciate him dying for my for my cause. Right, we're going to pop some painkillers and then we're going to double pop an energy drink and then we are going to get in that car and live. I think I'm just going to get in the zone here. We be healing. Time to get us in a circle. Once you're dead, you're dead, Joe. Um, I believe there is a specific map where you can redeploy teammates now, but... Yeah. See, the one thing about PUBG, and it's something that I honestly think has made me a better soloist player in Warzone. In PUBG, you just go, bro. Like... Forget what other people are doing. Don't try third party people. You just get... You get where you need to be, my guy. Because otherwise you are going to get absolutely demolished. Yeah, console and PlayStation are on the same lobbies on PUBG. Um, there is no crossplay with PC at all. For, for, re for obvious reasons. Unfortunately. Random ominous car out in the middle of the open. Nothing to be worried about there, I'm sure. Developing as a PUBG player is learning that these buildings actually get you killed more than they save your life. Because they're just so small. U-turn here. Okay, I lied. Developing as a PUBG player is recognizing that that building is the most central in the zone and you absolutely have to take it. driving oh come on man i was going at like 0 0.1 mile an hour you're telling me that killed me oh that's PUBG, man that's why people stop playing your game it's why... oh dear i was literally going at like 0 0.1 mile an hour and the game went Nah, mate, that's too fast. You're dead. 
Now, your, your car has to be going at exactly zero miles an hour. Exactly. Re you have to be reversing in order for it to work. Cheers, game. Thanks, man. Give me H1Z1 cars, bro. Give me, give me H1Z1 pull up on anyone anywhere. Live it. Yeah, basically my hope is, is that today's Wednesday, right? Today's Wednesday, right? Like, I'm, I'm hoping maybe by Thursday we see the Renetti gone. That's my hopes and prayers, my thoughts and feelings. Our pure cinematic music's about to occur, guys. Say what you will about PUBG. Talk about some cinematic music. Woof. Give me Warzone 1 cars, man. Those were the days. I think no I think everybody can universally agree that um I feel like I've just been beat, just beat the Clone Wars. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I think the biggest thing for me in terms of, um, in terms of how, like, the, the current Warzone status quo, if you will, is just that, like, Warzone, I think, is enjoyable to a point when things are not busted. Um... So I think when you introduce something busted, when things are already a bit shaky, you're kind of in a weird spot, right? It's really interesting playing a game without aim assist, by the way. Um, it's not really a huge problem for me. Like, I've never really struggled. Like, don't get me wrong. Aim assist obviously does massively help you in Call of Duty, but I don't need it. Do you know what I mean? Um... Like, Rainbow Six Siege on console, I'm never going to have trouble with, for example. Do you know what I mean? Man, am I actually... That, that might be a... That might be a variety side quest day. Rainbow Six Siege on console. Wowzers. That would be a huge throwback. Oh, man. I'd have to go back on my old account with all the skins. Whoosh. That would be nuts. Because my oh my, did I spend a lot of money on Rainbow Six in the early days. The Renetti doesn't actually have anything in store for it at the minute. Um, the HRM has something in store for it at the minute, which is, you know, you could argue that's why they didn't nerf that. Um, but the, the Renetti is just a weird one. Like, it's, it's obviously... It, it seems like a mistake more than anything. Like, the conversion kit isn't doing the correct damage drop-off or whatever. Like, effectively, the conversion kit is supposed to reduce damage, but I don't think it is. I think a couple of the attachments ended up getting busted in the last update. Uh, woof. Um, I think I'm actually going to land near Terminal. I think I'm going to land just north of Terminal. Try and keep this fairly central. It's very interesting that these guys don't show you where the circle is.
I think I might land to these northernmost buildings because I think that makes terminal quite controllable in terms of like going through it. Okay, that's a lot of guys. Oh, wowzers. Don't really know what I was expecting giving them landing on a hot drop, but that's besides the point. Get me in a building and get me a gun, man. Wow. I mean, I've got full armor off rip. I can't really complain about that. Honestly, I will take a pistol just for now. Frying pan, tears in my eyes. I've not used the K2, so I'm going to assume it's probably not that great. Let's have a quick look for the, the old inventory. What we don't need is a pistol. Always carry a pistol. You can use it whilst you drive. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll pick one up at some point then. Ah. I don't want to go out the front of the building because I know that there's somebody chilling somewhere opposite me, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and head out the back here and just move along. Okay, it's kicking off. what happened to me last time to happen again so i'm going to try and pick up as much ammo as humanly possible Active round here, eh? <clears throat> I remember the vector being extremely OP. I don't remember if that's still a thing. Play Hunt Showdown with Jack. I don't mind Hunt Showdown. Um, I think keep on a mouse game. I know it sounds really stupid, but I've been playing so much Valorant recently. I would hazard to guess that my general KBM skills have actually gone quite good. gun is shooting pure wind. Oh, there was a guy on the roof. God damn. And that's PUBG. Wowzers. 
Also, that, like, one thing I will say, the gunshot sounds for that man were far too quiet for somebody standing right next to me. I know that's an ironic complaint considering the inverse is usually true for Warzone. But bro was literally in my ear and I barely heard him fire. I probably should have blue zone naded the building anyway. Here's my KD ratio is 12. <laughs> I wonder, when did stat tracking for this begin? Do I still have stats for the first few seasons? Because I don't remember when I stopped playing. God, navigating these menus are a bloody nightmare. Definitely one of the earlier seasons. It might have genuinely been season one or two. Wouldn't surprise me anyway. One of you giga sweats to explain what a hideout is to me. I'm assuming it's like specific gear. I reckon if PUBG updated its movement system in UE5 and made it less clunky, it would have a chance. Call it a controversial opinion, but it would probably have a chance. There's one thing I wanted to check. Um... This doesn't have a different third person. Yeah, I'm really curious to see, other than obviously the obvious benefits of destruction and ground defamation, which are which are very, you know, big things, I think, for PUBG. I'm very curious to see what the overarching plan is for the game. Because, you know, you don't make that big an engine shift, in my view, without... With that, you, like, you don't make that big of an engine shift without plans, do you know what I mean? I, I don't think PUBG would ever do a... I don't think they would ever do a PUBG 2, so to speak. I think they would just do a huge update to the original game. Gosh, I haven't played this map in donkeys. Um... Oh my god, playing different maps in the same game? That's a novel concept. Uh, I might just go straight down here. 
I don't want to go directly into the town, so maybe I'll just go for this. This little town here. And then work my way into the, the big town. Seems a lot of people had similar ideas. I've not used an SVD in this game yet. have a lot of questions Dragon of one shot headshots level one and two helms. Okay, that's good to know. Just wasn't your brightest move, was it, lad? No way, dude. He must have been literally 1 HP. He's literally 1 HP. He is a single shot. That is nuts. That is the downside of PUBG. And I think it's it's probably the one reason I think a lot of people have kind of... Um, not given up on the game, but just sort of stopped bothering. It's just because, like, you spend so much time in menus. Holy crap. Like, I now have to match make again for however long that's going to take. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, COD has its issues, but the Gulag system, wow. What a piece of genius from them. In terms of, like, returning BRs to good spots. Certainly one of their better ideas, that's for sure.
Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Nobody. I appreciate you. I actually think I, I think I know it sounds stupid, but I think PUBG on console would benefit from PUBG Mobile's auto looting system schlock. Um, as silly as it sounds, I think it does just work. And you know, if something just works, then then good on them, you know. Gosh, this menu music really would make you dropkick through a door, though, wouldn't it? Uh, I don't think there's a huge difference, Raphael, um, between the two platforms. Um, I think it ultimately just plays the same. You know, it's crossplay. So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's one of those. It's just one of those, like, very strange... <laughs> very, it's one of those very strange phenomenons, I guess. Daisy BR, impossible to find lobbies. Yeah, woof. To be fair, Daisy BR, that's a, that's a niche category there. It's quite interesting playing PUBG on console because it's obviously a, a similar but different experience to PC. Um, ironically, I've spent all of this time telling you guys about how well I've been playing Valorant recently and I haven't shown you any keyboard and mouse skills, so tears in my eyes, guys. I think I've made a mistake on that front. Nice of the game to just decide to have the menu music at maximum. By the way, it's actually like really difficult to um, access the in-game menu. Like, can somebody explain to me why I have to, like if I want to press options, right? I can either go into options, like pressing regular options doesn't make it go straight in. Like you have to like, so you hold options to upgrade to a different type of PUBG. But pressing options doesn't seem to want to do it. So that's certainly one of the decisions of all time. So I'll tell you that much. Nice. We're in a game anyway. All right. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Let's see what we can do. I want to try and get... Obviously, we had a first game first win. But, you know, I would like to try and get a passionate win in PUBG. Let's try and get a passionate win on PUBG. On console. I mean, come on. I'm gonna ever so slightly turn down the old. Oh, the music volume save didn't really do much. So that's. Yeah, we'll put that down to 20 and we'll hit confirm. I wanna get a passionate win here, chat. Like, I, I believe in my ability to do so. I'll definitely have to stream some Valorant to you guys at some point or another. Um, I'm like, I know it sounds weird, but like I'm, I'm getting to a point where I'm starting to make good plays in Valorant. And I'm actually quite confident in my abilities, um, which means like I'm a bit more willing to stream it because at the moment I've spent so much time focusing on improving. Um, I've spent so much time improving in Valorant that, like, if I tried streaming it simultaneously, I just wouldn't. I don't think I'd be... I don't think I'd make any... any new, I don't think I'd say a word. I don't think I'd speak. You know I, You know what I mean? I think I would really struggle to verbalize what I'm thinking. Thoughts on Rainbow Six Siege? I'm actually really tempted to play Rainbow Six Siege on console. I'm actually really, really tempted by it. Um... I'm going to have a think about it. I might definitely consider doing it as like a variety day. Um, I'm unsure if I'd play it on PC. 
Um, but I definitely think I would be willing to play it again on console. Because obviously there's no aim assist, you know, so it's pure controller skill. Um, so it's not off the cards, I'll tell you that much. It's certainly not off the cards. Playing on this map really does bring back some memories, eh? I remember the first time I played this, I was utterly terrible, by the way. Just like to point that out. First time I played PUBG, I was genuinely horrifically bad. I think this Friday, we'll, we'll, we'll make a decision. This Friday, we'll probably do a variety day. I don't know whether we're going to do Valorant or Rainbow Six on console. I'll probably do a poll in the Discord for those of you who are interested. Um, and we'll see whatever you guys feel. Um, look at these guys. Just look at these silly little guys just having a good time, you know? Just, just, some, just some silly little guys enjoying themselves. Before they all instantly decide to murder each other in a violent act of warfare. <laughs> I think I might land somewhere different for once, guys. I know. What a shock. Um... I might go straight into Rozok, I'll be honest. Yeah, why not? It's not my usual drop, but I'll give it a go. I don't want to go on the side of... I'm going to go on this side because it's got less... less I'm going to use the phrase less hilly. Um, because if I end up beefing people, or if people people start running over, you don't want to be over there because people will just blast you from the hill. Whereas if you're on this side of the map, you've got a bit more of a, you've got a few more options to rotate, I think. All right, step one, pick up absolutely everything because we don't know what we're doing. Step two. Run inside building. Step three, profit? Question mark? That's how this works, right? Ah, yes. The mortar. How could I forget? I forgot they added a mortar to this game. Um, right, I'm, I'm literally going to go... I'm going to take the 5.56... Five, five, We're going to drop the 9 mil. There is someone nearby. Someone like in the local proximity of my building. That guy's crossed. I'm sure whoever's in my building knows... Well, not in my building, but near my building knows I'm here. So I'm not too worried about revealing my position. That's not creepy at all, is it? That doll isn't creepy in any way, shape, or form. Is 
See, I'm in a bit of an awkward spot here because, like... I can't really move. You know what I mean? Like, I can move, but... I heard footsteps to my left, so I'm going to assume there's someone in that building. Okay, the, the strange... What I can only presume to be Chicken Man has now rotated. Ah, because he is in the red zone, as he has just correctly identified. Maybe I just run away, I mean... Let's make the 7.62 weapon the long range. Not super central in the zone, but we're not like far either. I think I'm just gonna get moving, honestly. There's one thing I remember about this map, and I remember it well, is that the bridge transitions tend to get you killed. Unless you were very intelligent about your drops and your rotations. I'm gonna try and maybe wrap around the town here using the riverbank. This is a nice little roto, if we will. I've now got a bunch of admirers, so that's long. And I have no healing items. Sick. Probably should have thought about that before I decided to start shooting at people. If I'm being honest. Sprint, please. Yeah, note to self, maybe don't start fighting people until we have adequate weaponry. Um, in the sense of actually being able to heal oneself. That's that's probably PUBG 101. And if there's somebody in this building, it's pretty much GG for me anyway. So... I'll take an energy drink, it'll do. They all managed to chunk off a fair bit of... Well, what happened there is I got shot at by two people at the same time. The The damage feedback in terms of taking damage in this game isn't a huge amount. So if you start taking damage, you really do just need to, like, keep an eye on that bar. If there's someone in this building, I'm pretty much dead anyway. So I'm just going to yellow it through the window. I made it out too, but who am I to judge? Go 
could really do with some health kits here. Not looking for much, just a little bit of health. I think it's been seven years of PUBG, guys. Can't tell, but there's lots of sevens everywhere, you know? Um, might be a bit of a giveaway for that. I'll pick up as much 7.62 as possible. We need a new level 2 helmet at some point. You mean to tell me there's no healing items in this one either? You having a giggle? That's just not ideal, is it, chat? Let's be honest. feel bad about that one. I'll be perfectly frank with you lot. I feel quite bad about that one. Got a helmet. What is it that a flare gun pulls in? It's only if you have flare gun ammo, so it's not really worth it. Airdrop loot, isn't it? I could have sworn we had extended mags. I think I'm going to put the extended on my close range rather than my long range.
Hmm. Game doesn't seem to want to see me shining at the minute. You know what I mean? I think if I don't find a vehicle here, I'm probably dead. Um, evidently, I'm not the only one. I've just got to keep it stepping here. Like, there's a lot of fighting happening on the edge. I'm sure inevitably there'll be a couple of people central as well, but... I think the intelligent thing here is just to keep it moving. I need more 556. This guy needs something. Second one's a stun grenade, so it's not really going to help me, but you get the point. Remember, you are just talking to somebody who is entirely unfamiliar with the general workings of the meta, what weapons are good, what's worth my time, what isn't. I'm just a silly little guy.
Oh, the audio is playing twice. Ignore me. Sorry. That was weird. I don't know why the audio turned itself on. It was very peculiar. It's not meant to do that. I think this is one of those players we're going to have to worry a huge amount about. Surprised like I didn't die, by the way. Wow, this is a really shit circle. Boss. Oh. Dude, this guy is so lucky to be alive, by the way. So lucky to be alive. Bearing in mind, I three tapped him. Three tapped him with um, the M24. Crazy that he lives in the first place. Oh, if, I had a sing if I had a single, single nade, this man's dead. Oh. You can report players, hey yo. Let's see how this pans out. I want to see how this ends. Still seven alive. I mean, the guy in the car has surely seen him. I'd be astonished if he hasn't. He's got that blues on on his eye. He's got no vest. He's got to deal with this geezer. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Look at him, bro. You have a Groza! What? Bro. Nah, there's no way I lost to this guy. That's crazy. Brother. He could have killed him like a good six times here. Oh my word. Well, he's seen you now. Nope. That, there's no way that's a bot, bro. I think that's an actual person. I 
I think it's an actual person who just was too scared to shoot. Which makes it all the more painful that I died to them. Well, let's be fair with the Groza, you die so fast. The only thing I do remember about this game is the Groza being outlandishly overpowered. That is a dead body, my bro. <laughs> wow, he must have died in the gas. He must have blue zoned himself out, the last guy. Or he took enough damage that he got blue zoned. Yeah, that's definitely something I remember from PUBG a fair bit. Like, those final few circles, like, it really is just more about making yourself less known, if you can, than really getting involved. See, there, I was into a game straight away. I think that's the enjoyable thing about the console experience, Patrick. Whether that's from Rainbow Six Siege or PUBG, like, it just, you know... It's legitimate, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is the map that's going to be receiving um, ground defamation in turn some destruction. I think it's PUBG's 7th anniversary, guys. I'm not sure, but I think it is. I can't tell from the overzealous amount of fireworks, balloons, and other celebrations, but I think it might be PUBG's. That's a... Certainly one of the outfits of all times, I'll tell you that much. I think... I think I'm not sure where I want to drop here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna chalk it up to chance, and I'm gonna go for like that. I don't actually know how many maps PUBG has at the moment. I'm sure it's a fairly large number. I'm sure someone in chat could clarify. I'm pretty sure it's a fairly substantial number at this point.
poor guy. I think he only had a, a shotty. Blue zone grenade. I definitely want to pick that up in a second. I need to find a backpack. Not giving me a backpack would be a specific kind of cruel, considering I found mostly the gear I need. I don't think this guy had anything. I can drop the folded shield for now. I just I need a blue zone grenade if I'm gonna be aggressive, I think. Don't really have the best helmet right now. Generally speaking, haven't got the best gear. So I think I'm just going to try and rotate a little bit early. See if I can find something in circle. Just get a bit more of what I need going, you know? There's a little something something in front of me, so... very green, isn't it, chat? It's very green indeed. better than having no backpack at all, right? I see car 98. I take car 98. I see level 3 backpack. I take level 3 backpack. Yeah, I remember the, um, I remember the, um, Vector being super OP.
It's a very pretty map. I will give PUBG their credit. I mean, graphically, the game isn't renowned for being the most amazing thing in the world. But... Still kind of pretty. I would like I would like a 4x optic for my car 98 one of the decisions of all time to play that. I might be wrong, lads, but I think they're shooting at each other. Not sure why he hit the reload there. Say no to a fresh level two helmet here. Is my helmet chalked enough that a level one is better? Possibly.
Honestly, I'm just going to chill here for a second whilst I can um, figure out where it's going. I think it's a fairly logical play to work my way towards those silos, even if I don't know where I'm going necessarily. You don't get four stacked in a toilet in this game, no, but what you will get is some random dude hiding in a bush in the middle of Narnia that just guns you. Someone vaguely behind me is shooting at me. It's an odd place to be in right now. Oh. circle is complete and utter carnage.
certainly one of the locations of all time at the minute. Man, this is a really rough place to be in right now. Now is not the time for that PlayStation. I would love a map rotation in, in Warzone. Honestly, it would be the most refreshing element of Warzone is if they just gave it a map rotation. It's a very simple thing that makes a world's worth of difference. Man, this guy's annoying.
There's a guy somewhere to my left. I still think there's someone behind me, man. I'm still like 90% certain there's someone behind me. If I'm him, I'm either just over the hill so they can't see me or I'm hiding in that bush. Do you know what I mean? And he's just naded because he knows he has to move. I knew he was there, man. I knew he was there and I couldn't get him. I couldn't get him, man. I knew he was there. So unlucky, bro. Genuinely so unlucky. That was rough. That was rough. I feel like I... I feel like I deserved a little bit more out of that one. I feel like I deserved a little bit more out of that one. But right. Anywho's folks, I think I'm gonna call it there. Nice short and sweet three hour stream today. Um back again with Warzone tomorrow. I'm praying to God we see a Renee nerf sooner rather than later. Video again today. Thank you very much for joining me. Lovely having all of you. And I'll see you again in the next one. GG's guys.